Hey everyone, it's John, back again with another video. This is my first video that I'm recording after I've reached my 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I do have uh, a special thing coming up that I was uh, waiting on doing until I hit the 1K subscribers. This is not it. Um, but today is special nonetheless because today is the debut of the McDonald's Fat Hipster Meal. You saw the Travis Scott meal. You saw the Jay Blavin, I don't even know if that's his name because I've never heard of the guy before, meal at McDonald's. Well, today they have finally released and you have to, you have to ask for this thing specifically, the Fat Hipster McDonald's meal. And I will get into each detail of what that meal is uh, right now. The main thing for this meal, and the reason why, is because this meal is so exclusive. It only comes out certain times of the year, sometimes not even everywhere. But this year it has come out nationally. That is the McRib but more this is how you have to order it extra pickle add american cheese add bacon those are the three th important things about th how you order the mcrib for the fat hipster meal the other details of the meal are dr pepper The only drink approved for the fat hipster meal from McDonald's. The next thing is french fries. That's it. No dip. No ketchup. Just french fries. Because McDonald's french fries are good, by themselves. And the last part of the Fat Hipster Meal, and this is an important topper of the meal. One McDouble. Also extra pickles. McDouble extra pickle. Because if it's a Fat Hipster Meal that comes with pickles normally, you got an extra pickle on that. Let's go ahead and start with the, the main attraction, the McRib. Here's what it looks like. You got your onions, you got your bacon, you got your cheese, you got all that extra pickle, and then you got a saucy McRib sandwich. Now, sometimes, I've, I've done this in the past, they barely put any sauce on it. This one, you can see it, it's all in the packaging. It's gonna be all over my hands. Hopefully not too much on my face. But if you order a McRib and there's like, just like a partial squeeze of sauce on there, you gotta send it back because that's not a fat hipster meal McRib sandwich. It has to be saucy enough that you're gonna need a napkin. This one definitely will need a napkin. So here we go. Bacon, cheese, extra pickle, the fat hipster meal from McDonald's. You know, a lot of people say bad things about the McRib. They're like, oh, it's a fake rib. No, it's really made of, ri of rib meat. The McRib meat is made of pork rib meat.
It may be ground up and reshaped with little ridges. But really, are you opening up your sandwich and making sure that it has fake bones through it? No, you're just taking it out of the container and eating it. The shape of the sandwich really isn't the important part. It's the flavors, it's the sauce as well. I really think the the barbecue sauce they put on the, the McRib sandwich is a lot different than the cups of barbecue sauce you can get to dip McNuggets in. I think the McDonald's barbecue sauce, the reason why I don't really like it, it's just too sweet. It tastes kind of like you're just dipping your McNugget in like a over syrup ketchup. But when you add the bacon, it gives the sandwich a little bit of an extra porky kick to it. A little bit more salty, a little bit more smoky. Then what are you going to contrast that with? You need a little bit of something tangy. There's where the extra pickles come in. I think they already put enough onions on it. And like, uh, I like the onions that come on burgers, which are like those dehydrated, rehydrated, diced pieces. These are like actually real slivered onions. No dehydration, no rehydration. Still got some crunch to it. And then the cheese. The cheese kind of adds like this, this like mellow note that kind of like takes everything that's in there and kind of like seals it together. This is what you're looking for after you're done. If your hand doesn't look like this, once you're done eating the McRib, it didn't put enough sauce on it. Then, you're looking here, you got little bacon bits, some onion pieces, some cheese chunks, a few splotches of uh, more barbecue sauce, one little piece of bacon. You paid for that bacon, you can't just let it sit in the container. Take your napkin, wipe off that sauce. Then you finish off the meal with a nice topper of a McRib. It's the, our, for the McDouble, sorry. The McDouble is the dessert of the McRib. The McRib puts you on this roller coaster of flavor. It's an exclusive thing. But then you got to go back and deal with people and come back to reality. So you want to bring yourself back with something you know. I always put extra pickles on any buy burgers. That's McDonald's, Burger King, 
White Castle. Not Wendy's, because if you're going to Wendy's and you're not getting a Baconator, why are you going to Wendy's? Wash down some more Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper is the best drink that you can get at McDonald's that goes with barbecue. It almost has a barbecue like flavor itself so and what you're probably wondering all those other celebrity meals there they had like a discount the Travis Scott meal was six bucks the Jay Blabin one was I don't know how much because I didn't get it the McRib meal itself is six dollars and seventy nine cents. It's a pretty expensive combo meal, in and of itself. The cheese costs a forty dollar upcharge, and the bacon is a dollar nineteen upcharge. So that means you're paying seven nineteen eight nineteen. Well, eight eighteen. 18 plus another 19 that's 837 someone do the math for me that's it's nine and nine that's 18 plus eight nine 13 37 837 sorry 838 eight dollars and 38 cents is how much it costs and really, that's a deal because the fat hipster meal is not going to be here for long. It's really good. And a McDouble is also $2.49. So add that to it. Do your own math for that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. If you try the fat hipster meal from McDonald's, let me know what you think. Um, don't tell me if you change it because I don't want to hear that. Fat hipster meal is, is, is just the perfect one. It needs no changes. Remember all the rules. Because if you change it, it's not the fat hipster meal anymore. All right, that's it. Subscribe, thumbs up, watch some other of my videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. So long, bye.